All current nuclear power plants work by harnessing the heating effect of nuclear fission in uranium fuel pellets. It's a mature technology that's been generating electricity since 1956 in over 400 sites around the world. It operates at temperatures and pressures that are not dissimilar to gas or coal power plants and the engineering is well understood. Fusion is completely different. It's like trying to create the conditions at the centre of the sun on Earth. Even though scientists have been working on fusion since the 1950s, as of 2023, they've still only managed to create sustained fusion for under 20 seconds. Fission is all about splitting a big nucleus, like uranium, into smaller ones. This isn't too difficult, since a uranium nucleus is so big that it's on the verge of breaking apart anyway. Fusion involves trying to convince two or more small nuclei, typically hydrogen, in other words protons, or one of its isotopes, to join together and form a larger nucleus, typically helium. This is very, very difficult, because the electrostatic repulsion is so large. They have to get sufficiently close for the strong nuclear force, shown here in yellow, to take effect and bind the nuclei together. Even at the centre of the Sun, with its huge pressures and temperatures, fusion between two nearby hydrogen nuclei is very rare. But because the Sun is so huge, that still means there's enough fusion to create all the heat and light that we experience on Earth. If you want protons to get close enough together to fuse, then you need very high speeds. And that means very high temperatures, millions of degrees Celsius. Creating these temperatures and pressures is what makes fusion so expensive and technically difficult. When you do get nuclei close enough to fuse, very large amounts of energy is given off, about 10 times as much energy per kilogram as for fission. When two protons fuse together, the resulting nucleus has a slightly lower mass than the two protons when they were separate. If fusion could ever be made to work at scale, then it could generate large amounts of electricity with very little environmental impact. The products of fission, mostly helium, are not radioactive, so there isn't the waste challenge that fission reactors face.